This is Dean Barker with the RCBL. I'm here with the RCBL Shockers after a 4-2 win at the Grotto's Cardinals. Coach, this team has gotten off to a little bit of a rough start, but you were playing one of the best teams in the league, and you were able to come in and make it look not easy, but you it was a solid win. How does it feel? It was great. Uh, Mason did an unbelievable job on the mound. Um, they had base runners on all night, but he found a way to get ground balls. And had a great, great infield play from everybody. Rolled a couple double plays. Um, Three strikes, kept the ball down in the zone. Um, to be able to go to a complete game against this team is a feat in itself. Um, and we had some timely hits offense. We had a big inning, I believe, in the fourth. Um, a couple doubles, a triple. So um, we need guys to produce a plate and get pitching like that. We're going to be, you know, in our defensive play, other than I think one play, we had one air. Um, we're pretty solid all year. So that's kind of what we were expecting to do. Um, like you said, we've been off to a little bit of a rocky start, getting some guys acclimated with what we're doing, some guys shaking off some rust. But, um, you know, hopefully moving forward, our offense hits like that and we get pitching like that. Defensive play, and be so for Mason Sawyer's went nine innings, um, I believe just one strikeout, but he only gave up four hits. It was a complete game for you. Um, what was the key for you to go nine and for you to keep a very good offense silent for most of the game? I just every inning after every inning, I was like, dang, I feel good. I'll go again. I just kept going. I knew they'd make plays behind me, especially. Third baseman right there. Anything I knew, I'm an out. So I just kept trying to work low in the zone, get ground balls. If I worked high, they would hit in the air. So just working around the zone, they didn't know what was coming. Now, Mason, this is the question on everyone's mind. Did you wave off Coach Potts in the ninth in that conference? No, he waved me off. I was like, I told him, I was like, if I walk a guy in the ninth, I'm fine with my performance, and he was like, uh, you're staying in. I said, okay. And then worked out okay. Nick Arnold, two for four with a key RBI in the fifth inning. What was the key for you to go to bat for your team and get the bat on the ball? And again, it was four guys with RBIs. It was the Madigan twins, Spade, and you. So what was the key for an all-around offensive performance? Well, I say just hit strikes. Uh, I think it's important not to chase out the zone. It's important to get a good pitch to hit, and our team was pretty successful in putting balls in play and getting good barrels out. So, Coach, I don't know who the other games are this week, but you have tomorrow off, and then you'll take on the Braves at their place on Tuesday. Yes. What's going to be the key to keeping this going and getting back to 500? Because the Braves are a solid team. They it's going to be a difficult competition yeah. at their place for sure. And they're very well coached, um, very talented squad. Got some pitchers and definitely have some guys who can hit. Um, we get pitching like that in defense and like we talked about, a little situational hitting, um, put a big inning together and play all three phases of the game well, I think we'll be fine. Um, but for us, that's the first time we probably hit the ball that well all year. We're going to be open last week. I wasn't at the game, but we got a good report from that. Um, got to play all three phases well. If you can play defense behind your pitcher, it makes them more confident. They're around the zone, kind of like what Nick alluded to, you know, hit strikes, look good, swings on it, put barrels on the baseball. And, you know, we play three phases well. I think we'll be good. But, again, it's a challenge for us. It's our last game of the week. We don't play against until Monday next week after Tuesday. So, um, give everything we got and, and go from there. One last question. This has been your fifth game of the season. This upcoming game will be on the road as well. Yep. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna be an adjustment once once you get to play at Spotswood. But how has it been? How do you think your team has performed? I mean, you're two and three, but it's all been road games. How do you think your team's done performing, stepping up to the challenge? I mean, our first game we weren't at full strength. I think they would admit to it. Um, had a lot of key guys who were still. A lot of the Shenandoah boys were still playing. Um, didn't have all our arms there. We still we hung around. It wasn't you know we lost six of three, but we kept it close. Had some fight in the ninth inning. Uh, Clover Hill solid. We had a blowout loss there. Um, Elkton, we got back with a win, and then even Clover Hill the other night, um, score's not indicative of how close that game was. Uh, it was 3-1, 4-1 the whole time, so they scored a little bit at the end. And then to do what we did tonight against, again, a very good team. We always, playing at Grotto is always a challenge. Um, they're very well coached. They've got a lot of talented players, but, again, I think we're starting to find our groove. Some of these guys that didn't get a ton of at-bats at college are starting to get those live reps now, and they've gotten probably 15, 16, 17 at-bats. They're seeing the ball better. Um, someone like him who got, you know, over 100 at-bats at college doesn't need it, but... Some of the other guys, you know, just hadn't seen live pitching. You know, you know, you can't really replicate that in practice or scrimmages or whatever. So, um, again, if we play as we did tonight, um, I think that's what we're capable of doing. We still got a couple guys we're waiting on, taking some time off from their arms. A couple of the Shenandoah guys who, you know, they played 52 games, so they're like, I need a break. Um, luckily, Hayden came out tonight. Um, that was unexpected since Harrison's already playing. And, no, I mean, 
Tuesday is going to be a challenge in every game in this league. You know, there's not a night, and I've talked about this before, there's not a night where you can really have an off night because other teams will take advantage of it. So um, play all three phases well, and we'll go from there. And, you know, Tuesday night will be a good game. All right, you've heard from the new market. The RCBL Shockers victorious tonight, 4-2 to over the Broadway Cardinals. We'll see you next time. Go.